Um, but we're going to test this volume compared to my voice. How is this sounding compared to my voice? So there's a lot of just soft sounds at the moment. I think it got loud. Shoot. I might have to mess with the settings once I'm loaded in after a cutscene. So brace yourself. Scary. I'm leaving tonight and not coming back till you do. It's supposed to be. I've been my surprise us. I will see what they summon the Not even the narration? What the summon for me again. It all happened the same as I left out. And I'm forced to act. Um, shall we go here? Whatever happens next, I'm not going to lose you like I lost your mother. Okay. This necklace oh. is the last thing left of her. Keep it close and guard it well. I will give you my old notebook from my travels. Will guide your way to an island of a friend. He will help you to prepare for what is coming. I know I'm asking too much of you, but this is the only way to stop Oceanhorn. Mm, the name of the game. Wake up. The time has come. Link. <laughs> Alright, so compared to my voice, how have the game been? Sh should I turn the game back down a little? <coughs> Even when I'm fighting? We'll just try it at this volume then. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like Did you sleep well, kid? Do you still have the same nightmare? Your father often visited this island on his travels when he was younger.
You need a master key to open this chest. Okay. Oh, that's dangerous. Oh. and left. Don't forget your training. Run around the island a few more times. This is a checkpoint from the Arcadian era. You will magically spawn next to it if something bad happens to you. Checkpoints can be found all over the world. Remember to activate them when you see them. And don't worry, all your progress and everything you have con collected is saved all the time. Good, if it crashes, there's always an auto save. Yes. Throw objects. While carrying an object, pressing the action button and target will move the control. Release to throw. hearts and other items are hidden all over the world. objects with the action button. <laughs> you got a regular key. It's just a regular key. No big deal. Anyway. 
this is a reset button, it magically returns objects to their original position so you can start solving the puzzles from scratch. The puzzle. You can pick up many kinds of things. Oh shit. <laughs> back your mother's necklace. It seems like it is no ordinary pendant. <gasps> you are a traveler. You got your health refilled in ten coins. I see it gives you link to the sound effects options right here. You can do this. There we go. I don't know if it's impossibly quiet now though. <laughs> Please still hear me singing my sword and stuff. That climbing animation. Tap the minimap to access items, statistics, and settings. Nice. I did all the challenges. Well, I guess that was it. You found your father's sword and shield. How did you get your hands on them? You were supposed to have them later. What? Your mother's necklace started to glow? How could I be so stupid? That is one of the symbols of ancient Arcadia. Follow me, I have a story to tell you. A long time ago, these islands were the mighty kingdom of Arcadia. The Age of Enlightenment led Arcadians to outstanding scientific discoveries. Engineering and magic ran deep in their blood. A foul war began as Dark Lord Mesmeroth, who had once been a promising candidate for an Archmage, led dire folk armies to a war against Arcadia. With the aid of his dark magic and the dire folk, Mesmeroth dug deep into the ground and brought to daylight something that should have stayed in the depths of the earth. Triloth, a mass of dark energy left over from the creation of the world. Black boats arrived to the gates of Arcadia, carrying the dark energy Triloth. Soon the light from the world and from the hearts of men faded. The once flourishing society disappeared into the darkness. After the catastrophe, three sea monsters appeared. One of them was Oceanhorn. <gasps> oh, it is a vile creature, born under the dark burning light of Triloth. Although all of these monsters were powerful, 
Only one has survived up to this day. Oh, it is getting late, kid. Return to me in the morning. Is it morning yet? Go to your lookout now, kid. But come back to me in the morning. Okay. <laughs> one more. Wait, one more. Take this. Oh my goodness. Bedtime. Who the heck is this? The next morning La -di da surely nothing has happened in the night because I was on lookout. Oh, they're huge. Oh, be gone, you devils. Thank you, kid. The necklace must have attracted these dark creatures, just as your father feared. Monsters and evil forces have disturbed the balance of the world. Your destiny is tied to Oceanhorn, just like your father's. It is no use to hide any longer. Old scriptures tell about sacred emblems, relics that hold the power of gods. Their purpose was to maintain the balance of the world, but they lost their power in the catastrophe at the same time as Oceanhorn appeared. I believe that was no coincidence. To unravel the mystery of Oceanhorn, you must find out what happened to the sacred emblems. Here is what I know of them. The emblem of Earth that belongs to the Auru people is hidden in the Perta Desert that was once a vast and beautiful forest. Most of its beauty withered along with the Aurus, wise and fearless bird people. The emblem of Ocean belongs to Gilfolk the people living in the waters of the world. Hmm. Emblem of Ocean is a relic of their long past glory and former power. Gill folk. The Emblem of Sun was the pride of Arcadia, a symbol of hope and determination for our kind. I will tell you more about it later. It is time to begin your journey. Seek the sacred emblems. This is the only way to get to Oceanhorn and find out what happened to your father. Well, he died to Oceanhorn. Mystery solved. You will learn about the islands uh, of uncharted seas from your father's notebook. First, you should go and talk to the people on Tekaro Island. Take this key. It opens the door to the pier where the boat is kept. Godspeed.
do I need supplies in this box? No. Can you hear me, kid? It's me, Hermit. I can talk to you through this mysterious seashell. Maybe I can be of help on your quest. Let's... Mm, let's go. Oh. Uh, let's skip that for now. Let's go to where we were asked to go. Are those crates in the water? And another boat. Oh, I don't know what that means. Oh, it reset. No. Oh, boy, it's a beautiful day. Have a safe trip. Oh, God, don't crash into me. What the hell, dude? Can I? Can I get those barrels? No. Can't seem to press anything. Maybe we upgrade our boat later or something. Probably not. To Corral Town. What a wonderful little village. You know, this was the life I always imagined for myself. There's no time to rest, though. I'll just ask for directions and move along. Is that supposed to be this kid's voice? <laughs> if you learn the location of an island, you should get back to your boat and check out check it out on the world map. I love to watch boats sailing to Tikarel. Not long ago, I saw a weird black boat land on the other side of the island. Who was that? Dan, I hope you're helping with the cargo boats or something, since you're not here. Mr. Phil's displeased. He heard somewhere of a rat problem. I said that the only rat in my warehouse is my assistant. But when I came here, I saw a fat one right next to the barrels. And it wasn't you. Deal with it, boss. <laughs> Signed, boss. Do not break any jars, the sign says after I broke all of them. Oh shit, that's a huge rat! I guess I'll take care of it. Rat problem no more. What is that? What the hell is that? <laughs> Aren't bombs just wonderful? You can use them to open new paths and blow up blocking objects. You should buy them on Bomb Island if you have a chance. New, I new island revealed. Okay. Bomb Island. Sounds amazing. The Adventurer's Guild. Come and learn. Okay. Even the most fearsome enemy has its weak spots. Try different tactics on them. There is no shame in escaping. Remember to spend your money. Never start an adventure without visiting the Tickerel shop. Sponsored message. 
It is unlikely you will ever reach the Master Adventurer level. M.A. Master Adventure. <laughs> Your adventure level will rise as you slay monsters, take on challenges, and get achievements. Those blue diamonds represent your experience, XP. And depending on how many you collected, the Adventurer's Guild will grant you a matching level. You can always check the menu to see how many diamonds you have to collect to reach the next level. <coughs> That's useful. Oh, something about... Wait, what is it? So you're planning to become an adventurer. With my tips, even a shrimp like you will become a legend. Can, can become a legend? Last year, I took part in this stupid trip to Withered Lands. I was hoping to see an Auru temple, but all I saw was an empty wasteland, and I got sand in my boots and burned my skin. Why would anyone want to go there? The Festival of the Sun is important tradition for us. It predates even the catastrophe. Capital catastrophe. <laughs> there is no such darkness in the world that would keep us from celebrating Sol, our goddess. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I don't know where it wanted me to move that to. It's Needy's diary. It's rude to peek inside. Do it anyway. <coughs> Let's go up here first. Danger! This abandoned house may collapse at any time. Don't go near it. Welcome to my shop. What would you like to have? Uh... Nothing. All the fish are scared of the restless beast that has been seen in those waters. When the night comes, you can hear the ancient sound that drains the joy out of you. You look like an adventurer. You should check out the Adventurer's Guild in Tikoro. Aren't we in Tikoro? They can tell you more about levels and stuff. This is the Red Herring Tavern. They say that a thousand years ago, before the catastrophe, the kingdom of Arcadia stretched from north to south. There were even other kingdoms as well, and each was protected by a sacred emblem. Hi, Zoraika. How are you? How was your weekend? <gasps> Jeez. I looked away for a second. I see rats. Die! They have a rat problem. What are you doing? Those are our pets. They're not even attacking me. care of that. I wonder if he'll pay me for my services. You had a job interview but you didn't take the job? Oh.
crayfish cave entrance blocked by an earthquake. What the? We'll just climb up. Festival of Sun is coming. My father is busy working, preparing his fireworks. No one is allowed to go humming to Humming Hill before his work is finished. Um, the communication from the employer was horrible, and I'm still unsure what the job was. Oh my goodness! Well, th well, that's a that's a good sign to yeah <laughs> turn turn down the offer, I guess. <laughs> Weird. This is Needy's Vegetable Garden. Wait, Needy, why does that sound familiar? Oh, the Needy's Diary we were looking at. We didn't read it though. I don't think we can jump. I don't think we learned how to jump yet. I guess there's nothing else to do except fall down this hole. Oh, I fell down the wrong place. <gasps> oh my god, I'm actually stuck. <laughs> Alright, well. <laughs> um, no, I don't have jump unlocked yet. Let's go to the title screen. That was easy. Protect the peace in Tikaro. Um, spend 2,000 coins in the shop. Oh, okay. Wait. Don't you sell things? T okay. Um, not in stock yet. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, I don't have 2,000 coins, I only have 50. <laughs> Arcadia! We've got, we got torn from our past, but nothing can take away our future. Trail to Humming Hill. What does this say? Road to forest lookout? <gasps> wow, I'm so strong. Let's bring this with us. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> we broke on him. I love the atmosphere of this place. Or her? Um, you can even see the sky island when the weather is good. It's definitely interesting. Be careful, there's monsters about. Including me. Can I unlock this? Nope. I'm gonna fall down this way. Nope, I can't. Okay. How about... Crossing this bridge. Wait, how do I get up there? Oh, there's a chest here. I haven't been looking at the mini map. Ooh. How do I get over there? All right. 
right. Um, fish log. You can go fishing. And there's another chest over here. What the heck? Hi, Ophelia. I had a great trip, but on my way back, I got seasick. I was happy that the captain knew a small place to take some rest before going on. He called it Sandbar. I was able to gather strength there. That must be the exit. Okay. I did see the chest. Um... Do I just swim? Oh god, oh god. <gasps> oh. No, I lost XP for that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would they make me lose XP over that? Thank you. Where's the chest? Hey. It's right here. Oh god, I'm stuck. Okay. I know how to do this. Haha. -ha. Uh, what do I do? Um... Well, let's um let's go back to our boat because we unlocked a new islands to visit through word of mouth. Nope, that's not our boat. This is our ship. Withered lands and bomb island. And the sandbar. Let's go there, it's tame. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. That's not the right song at all. This game is pretty nostalgic for me. I played it um, on an iPod Touch in like, what, 2011, 2012? <gasps> We're gonna hit the barrel. Oh. <laughs> it's very foggy. Where's the bar? See no bar. It's a lie. You found a bloodstone. Look how it reflects light as if it were drops, as if there were drops of blood inside. Okay. And another? Try this skill attack for the first time. Okay. Yeah. Alright, I guess.
guess that's it for the sandbar. Bomb Island. This makes me want to play Sea of Thieves. I want to actually sail right now. We could stop here, but I don't think I have a way of getting up there. I think that unlocks later. <laughs> Bird! This game's pretty cute. Pretty cute looking. Find your first piece of heart, defeat the centipedes in the mines, use your wits to reveal something. They say something. this was the place where Triloth was excavated. Now people come here either to work at mines or buy bombs. They say you should never enter caves or dungeons without some bombs. Could be some puzzles in there, I guess. Hmm. Welcome to Bomb Island. Visit the bomb maker's house to buy bombs. Okay. Give me bomb. When I was walking on a hill nearby, I fell in a hole. I saw something shimmering in the dark, but I was too afraid to find out what it was and climbed up quickly. Chicken. Something terrible happened to the miners. Looking for bombs? You can meet me. <laughs> Why? What, what kind of a sentence is that? Something terrible happened to the miners. Looking for bombs? You can meet, at Cor meet Corbin the bomb maker at his workshop. Oh, that's unfortunate. Anyway, you're looking for bombs. <laughs> Definitely nothing bomb related happened happened to the miners. Of course not. Hello. You are at the bomb maker's house. I am Bob. I don't have any bombs to sell. I ran out of gunpowder when miners disappeared. You can find some bombs in the abandoned mines nearby. <laughs> Shoved him out of the way. Oh, wait. Corbin, we need a hundred bombs, like yesterday. We're about to bring down the large that large wall. Weird sounds are coming from behind it, Chief Miner. up here okay got any bombs oh ow What the heck? <coughs> Rusty, this old statue has stood here for centuries. Hmm? Okay. Use your wits to reveal the hidden treasure? Wow. <laughs> that was definitely not wits, it was just I wanted to, I wanted to break the old statue. <laughs> I wanted to vandalize in game. Sailor statue, I salute thee, O oh wind. Cleanse my soul with your breath and protect me from sudden death. Take me back to my home so dear before the storm falls over the day so clear. I salute thee, O oh wind. <coughs> Thanks, can I take this bottle now? Please. I just want the bottle. <laughs> we leveled up. 
You are a wayfarer. You got a pumpkin seed gun for your boat. Holy shit. Oh, now can I attack barrels? Okay. Checkpoint. Nice. Oh, there's a goblin. <gasps> Ow. Stay away, stinky. <gasps> Got him. No. I remember liking exploring. It was funny. Oh, and hating the birds. Yes. Hello, Chicksaurs. How are you? Oh gosh. I almost died. <laughs> Tries to hug Anya Fair, but Anya Fair politely declined. <laughs> oh no. Thinks about hugging Anya and lets the thought fade away. <laughs> You don't feel like it anymore. You just like lost, you lost all, all, uh, motivation. <laughs> hmm. Oh, there you go. I smell like cream cheese. I did have, um, I had Philadelphia, Philadelphia rolls, which are cream cheese, salmon, Avocado, cucumber. Oh shit, I'm dead. <laughs> so I, I really do. I really do smell like cream cheese today. We're just exploring. Mines, beach, ex exit, no entry. Oh yeah? What if I, what if I enter in here? Must be an interesting smell. <laughs> you have fish and cream cheese? Have you ever heard of Philadelphia rolls? It's, uh... California rolls are a classic, right? But I enjoy Philadelphia rolls. Something about that cream cheese <laughs> is amazing. <laughs> But you know the yeah yeah Philadelphia cream cheese yeah <laughs> that's why it's called Philadelphia roll. I also much prefer salmon over crab. So even just just choosing it over a California roll for the sake of choosing salmon over crab, <laughs> delicious. Okay, I don't think we can go this way yet. It really is an exit, like they said. I should have believed them. Uh, you got a cream cheese project product here in Norway called Philadelphia. Yeah yeah um. We we do too. <laughs> Ooh, 
Okay, progress. I think on the menu, there was also like things I never heard of, like Washington rolls based on, I think, the state Washington above Oregon. <laughs> um, that was interesting. I don't remember what it said it had, but it seemed pretty tame. Nothing crazy. <coughs> Ow. Holy shit. How tough is this guy? <gasps> oh my god. Okay. We won. <laughs> Zelda? Pretty much. This is pretty much a copycat of Zelda, huh? This this game came out in like 2010, 2011, maybe 2012. And I played it then and haven't touched it since. So here we are. <laughs> it is called Ocean Horn. When I went to register this game on Twitch, um it looked like there were more Ocean Horn titles, so that's interesting. I guess they went on to make more over the years. I don't know why I pushed that box there, but I think it needs to go up the ramp. Mm, wait, how do I do this? Can I pull? No. <laughs> no idea. Oh, I'll push it first. There we go. Of course. Oh, you can't. You can't push it up there. <gasps> well then, it must go here. I thought we were using it to get up to this grassy level. <laughs> oh god. Push the other way, now you made a bridge, yes. Because <laughs> apparently we can't jump. No jumping allowed. We gotta maybe learn a skill, or I don't know what. Hey, bird, leave me alone. Whatever is shooting at me, I hate it. <laughs> oh. I need to regain stamina. Apparently. <laughs> there we go. Hello, Tipsy! Thank you for the care package. Let me see. <gasps> Three months? Really? Wait, what? It's been three months? No way! <laughs> Thank you so much for the resub, Tipsy! Welcome back! <laughs> Yay, clap, clap, clap! <laughs> Gonna be lurking, got some stuff you wanna do? Of course! Enjoy your alert check stars. I hope you get to take care of everything. <laughs> wow. Three months. Wait. Joey. Mm -hmm. Um, did you get to resub? Yeah. Everyone get the notification chat. Because mm. I know, um, Ali was the first sub. He was the first one I told when I saw the email. <laughs> but he said he didn't put the message in chat is all. But wow, I can't believe we're on our third month. What a weird way to celebrate our third month too because I'm s playing a stupid mobile game. <laughs> I'm on vacation. Uh, 
But that's exciting. I can't believe it's been three months already. Haven't even paid for it. <laughs> you got like um, what is it? what are they like tokens or? Oh. oh shit! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! What do I do? <laughs> do I get XP for that? Nice. Oh. No! No! I let go of the sheet. Okay. Go! Oh my god. <laughs> That's tough. That's okay, you can celebrate in every way, even on a cozy new Monday. <laughs> I have to pay respects. <laughs> oh. That, that's so stupid. The, the spikes on the ground. <laughs> Ooh, I want to push this boulder off. Oh. No, I guess we're entering the mines. This is a uh, bomb island. I don't know if we need to be here, but we are here. Indeed. Just don't know why. We're exploring. <laughs> Let's see. I need to put this in place. This All of these puzzles Puzzles would be solved in an instant if this kid knew how to jump. Oh god. Uh. At least I got a heart back. Treasure. Got to sleep though. You got a photo and walk day. If the forecast is accurate, awesome. I'm excited for you. Um, wait, today is Monday. Tomorrow, me and Ali are gonna be going to like three different little places, like a zoo and whatnot. Um, so I hope we can take pictures. We don't have our. I don't have my DSLR or anything like that, but <laughs> I hope we can snap some good pictures, share it with you guys. <laughs> It's gonna be negative two. Oh no. Going up to just three. <laughs> Bundle up. Stay warm. <laughs> it's pretty cold here. I'm not used to um, how cold it is. Um, Allie just walks outside in a t shirt and jeans. <laughs> and I've got like leggings under my jeans and a long sleeve and then a sweater and then a poncho. <laughs> I'm all bundled up, and he's just walking around in a t-shirt like, yeah, this is normal. This is this is fine. <laughs> I'm used to this. I think it's been, what was the lowest? Like 35 Fahrenheit? Yeah. Wait, was that today or yesterday? Yeah, today today was in the 40s. I can handle the 40s. That's a good, that's a good temperature. And then and, and the warm was nice and toasty when you did stand in the the warm wait i meant the sun <laughs> when you did stand in the sun it was warm and toasty what the fuck is a fahrenheit well basically it got to 35 yesterday which is just like that's like what just three degrees over freezing if i'm remembering that correctly because i don't even know fahrenheit <laughs> i think fahrenheit is 32 right 32 freezing okay It was just a little above freezing. I think it did get to 32, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it got to 32, but it didn't rain. Boo. So we didn't get to see snow. Allie says there is no snow in Illinois anymore. That's a thing of the past. <laughs> 35, so that's, yeah, 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 like two. Yeah. <laughs> But it was more like, what do you want to call that? 12, 15 Celsius today? And that, that is a good temperature. It's nice and chilly. 
And if you step in the sunlight, you're, you get a nice little bundle of warmth. I don't think we should go this way. I don't know. I kind of want to check out the ladder first. You have people crazy enough to predict a white Christmas? The last one was over 10 years ago? Wow. That's so sad. I like going and visiting the snow. We used to do that. Well, my family used to do that. For Christmas or for the holidays. Because my dad's birthday is also around Christmas, so. We'd go, we'd go snow skiing and whatnot. A lot. Oh god! <laughs> um, okay, we fell in a hole. This is fine. Oh, this is fine. We're fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> a heart in the chest, nice. Thank you. I'll take this skull. Whose skull is it? I don't know. But it's mine now. It actually looks a little larger than our player character here. Yeah, not a little larger. It looks very large. It must be a giant. I realized there was another ladder on the other side, and I don't know what it would have led to. <coughs> I'm gonna get you! Uh. Ow! Uh. Jesus! Stop! Checkpoint, okay. <laughs> What's that emote called? I don't know if I can see it. Oh, just the Naki Uwu. Oh, <laughs> it's so cute. Little mittens. I guess we have a puzzle here, which I did wrong immediately. Weird that he can swim here infinitely, but when we enter the open water, you have a very short, um, stamina gauge thing. I really don't know what we're doing here, but, um, we are making progress of some kind. I think I did that right. <laughs> Let's see if I can solve this. <laughs> nope. Oops.
There's no point in pushing that if... What? You, I can't push it this way! Okay. Oh, there we go. I got it. Yay! Don't step on that. Is that a rat in the water? Do they like the water? I know they like, they're fine with sewers, so I suppose. I just can't really imagine it just casually wading in the water. <laughs> well, that was a puzzle, but it is a dead end, so. Oh god, no! Stay away. <gasps> nice. Where is this? We managed to destroy the wall with sounds coming from behind it. All of a sudden, the ground crumbled under the men's feet and they fell down to the giant sepid's lair? Giant sepid? I was lucky to get out, but I was one of the few. I locked the door. The fire puzzle is enough to keep the key safe. Fire puzzle? I just want the bottle. They're not gonna let me have it. Fire puzzle. Mm hmm. to do this every time okay oh just falls from the sky. Ah, uh, can't see anything. Master key! Use it to open the big chest in the master door on this island. Okay. Let's go this way now. We have to defeat the sepeds of abandoned mines and find my first heart piece. Hello, Toretto. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Hi, news. How are you? How was your weekend? Oh, this guy has a key or something. You got a regular key. Nothing special. Yeah, Saturday, Sunday, weekend. Today's Monday, right? <laughs> I think it is. Oh no, it's just an old boot. You found one coin inside it. Well, thanks, game. You were lurking one stream and then I switched to tablet. <laughs> Didn't see that guy. Yeah, um, that was what, Friday? Friday I streamed Minecraft a little bit, and 
Is that other one? Oh shoot, where was it? Oh, um, Bastion. Let me play Bastion. I think I pretty much beat the game. Oh yeah, my, my PC's fine. I'm actually, I'm on vacation. Oh wait! Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Is it because you tried using the scuff? That's weird. Why would it not be on? Yeah, my PC's fine. I'm on I'm on a trip. I'm visiting my boyfriend uh, for the holidays. <laughs> so we've got mobile streams this week. That's why I've been making little jokes about becoming a mobile streamer. <laughs> but that is interesting. I swear I have a scuff emote. Or not emote. Bleh, um, command. Is it? Did I name it scuffed instead? Hello, Faybot. Faybot just welcomed someone who followed. So they're here. Oh, I wonder if it's I wonder if it's mod only. Shoot. <laughs> That's my mistake then. It might be mod only. That's weird. Oh no, PC melted and now tablet. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Luckily not. Luckily not. <laughs> and then you made me think of like the fact that the bot might be down, which means my PC did crash cuz my bot is running thanks to my PC still being on back at home. <laughs> and so the fact that you used the scuff command and it didn't work, I was like, oh my gosh, my PC might actually be dead. <laughs> but nah. You want a stream deck for streams from bed? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I guess we're going down this hole. Oh god! Are these the sepeds? They're not called centipedes, they're called sepeds apparently. Ugh. Did I just disconnect their bodies? Oh. Get them! Get them dead! Oh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's just so stupid that I can attack from up here. Alright, we'll go down. We did it! I defeated the seppies and abandoned mines. But where are all the workers? Are these the workers? Because these are giants. Hmm. Also, where are all the bombs? This is, this is an island called Bomb Island. But we haven't found any bombs yet. The guy who makes them said he's out. He's out of gunpowder because the, the miners got trapped down here. What the heck? Hmm. This is a trap. <gasps> bombs! Use bombs on enemies and any weak looking surfaces or objects you come across. Okay. Like these boxes? That I for some reason cannot push? Perfect. You have too many tabs open. <laughs> uh oh. Which one is which one's speaking Spanish? Which one's playing the music too loud? Which one? <laughs> nice. You found a rare seashell. You have, you have five coins for it. You found a rough explorer crystal. It gives you twenty five XP. I think it's cute when you level up in this game you get a title. So we're right right now we're level three and called a wayfarer. Oh shit. <laughs> Wasted a bomb. That's okay. Cool, are we done? 
But when you have too busy brain and uh, no one you usually hang out with for lurk noises on, you go to comfy games like Spirit Fair and meet new people and then too many friendos to watch. <laughs> oh my goodness. I never beat Spirit Fairer, but it was so beautiful. I played it a lot. I think I got pretty far. But for some reason, I just uh, stopped playing at random. Maybe, maybe like an update in Animal Crossing was like, bam! <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I just I stopped playing for some reason. And I never beat it. Isn't there, isn't there going to be an update for it soon? Or maybe there was a recent large update? I can't remember, but I feel like I heard something like that through Steam. Last ever update. Oh, <gasps> ooh, nice. Okay, that's what I heard. <laughs> ooh, I totally want to play it now again. I'll start over from scratch, honestly. I, I, I enjoy doing that. <gasps> this I remember where we are now. This is the exit. A hyena, a hyena and a bat. Oh. <laughs> oh, what's this? Direfolk keep me imprisoned on withered lands. We already unlocked that place. I guess we're done here. We found the bombs. I don't know if we can help the guy get gunpowder. The bomb maker. But yeah, Spearfair is really sweet. I liked the I liked building the the ship, the boat. So that's what happened in the mines. A giant sepied. That is horrible. I guess it's time for my retirement. I've always dreamed of having my own boat. Well, okay, so I guess he's just giving up then. I guess that's it. I led this guy to retirement. You should pick up the job. Young lad. Are we done here? I guess so. Bombs! <laughs> so bombs drop from enemies, okay. Okay. Let's go to Withered Lands. Oh yeah, and we have a gun now! Hell yeah. We're now a pilgrim, I think. I think that's what the level four reward is. Yeah. The gun shoots as fast as you can tap. I'm not tapping very fast, but we're doing fine. <laughs> I'm shooting everything before I can even see what it is. So we're doing just fine. Pew pew! <laughs> ah! This guy will shoot back for sure. I don't know what those are. The spiky things? Oh my. Oh. Alright, withered lands. Oh, I see the gun in his hand now. Bounce an enemy with a shield ten times? Release the dire folks prisoner? It's hard to believe all this wasteland used to be a forest. Oris lived here. 
They are all gone. A great deal of wisdom disappeared with them. Okay. Fully loaded up on bombs. Oh yeah, you gotta level up. You are now a pilgrim. You got your items refilled and a hundred co coin bonus from the Adventurers Guild. That's a lot of sound effects. Watch out for goblins and ogres. Herta Desert. I'm trying it in the wrong way. There you go. I don't know why I want it up there, but there you go. Uh... Where does this lead? Okay. Well, that was easy. Wow, a golden gear from ancient times. You can have 50 coins for it. We have a busy day tomorrow, and it's uh, 9 p.m. now. Could it be anywhere from here? Um, but I don't. I don't plan on staying up as late as I normally do. Oh shit! Okay. So we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, we, we want to be up at like 8 a.m. tomorrow in order to visit all the places we're wanting to visit. Ooh! That worked. For whatever reason, I wasn't allowed to push it that way. I don't know if I need that fire, but I keep taking it with me. Oh god. <laughs> well, that was worth it. Those guys are tough. I don't even want to think about it, what an ogre is like. I thought I heard a to -to -to turn that on when you were when it was new on FFC and you haven't how many settings? Wait what? Oh like a a notification because Yoshi added me or something? A noise when you're near yeah <laughs> I have that too and I was considering turning it off because especially with our hug command it's uh it's pretty spammy <gasps> ow <laughs> get him oh shit we actually did okay Where's that bird? Stinky. No. <laughs> oh 
can't throw this at him. <laughs> there, I did. You don't have browsers open when you stream, so you haven't had to think about that. What about ch chat? Do you keep chat on your phone then? Get lost is what the sign says. Okay. Okay. Oh my. It's a big guy. And I backed myself in a corner. Oh, I'll deal with him later. <laughs> Let's go this way. Oh Jesus. I thought that was my shield. Hold on. What? How do I shield? There we go. I didn't realize it w uh, the bombs replaced my shield. Oh fuck. There we go. Hee <laughs> hee. We did it. We did the shield thing. Cool. Operate these blocks from the guard tower. Okay. Where might that be? What's down here? Oh, hello. He's friendly. Okay. Not sure what the point of this cave is yet. Might require the guard tower also. <laughs> Ow! What's in there? That's a heart piece up there. With no way up. Okay. Somewhere we haven't explored yet. We also should consider... Um... We should consider, uh, what was I going to say? The hell was I going to say? I have no idea. Okay. Great. There's a chance that we don't even have the right, I don't know, skill to be here. I'm not really sure where we're supposed to be. There's no overarching quest. It just has little challenges for each land that you visit. I mean, we have we have a super overarching quest, which is to defeat the monster, the name of the game.
Let's try backtracking. I don't know. I don't think there would be anything back here. There's a there's a log in the wall though. Play, I'll pay closer attention to the mini-map as well. Let's see if there's something we missed. God, I hate this. Fuck, I can't even run away. <laughs> there is apparently a watchtower. The guard guard tower. There's a green arrow up here. Oh, that's the cave, right? Uh, instead of crossing that bridge, can I... What is this thing? Oh, same thing. Okay. Um... I'm gonna try going in, <coughs> in the cave again. Unless there's something this way. Nope. Let's have another look around. What is he doing? Oh, Jesus. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Risked it for a heart and lost the heart anyway. Okay. Can I do anything in here? Doesn't look like it. What the heck? Wow, I have no idea. Maybe we, we can't proceed. Maybe I have to try a different island.
I don't know what those little scurrying things are, but they're kind of creepy. Okay. Um. Can I zoom out? Nope. Okay. So we've been to the sandbar. I mean, we can try going back to Hermit's Island. Bomb Island. We've never been here. Oh, this is just... Yeah, that's open sea. I don't know if that... I don't know if we can go to the floating island yet. It's not really registered as anything. Let's go back to home for now. Sailing used to be peaceful, and now I have to defeat sea monsters. <laughs> I did some shopping today with Allie, and we got some uh, cooking supplies to make cookies. We avoided buying just a, a cookie mix batter, you know, like a a pre-mixed thing that you just add liquid and boom. <laughs> we avoided that. We're going to make them from scratch. Um, and I think we're going to do that on Friday. So Friday's stream might be a cooking stream if I can get the proper setup with my iPad and whatnot. Um, if not, we will we will definitely send cookies or so send pictures of the cookies. <laughs> Send pictures of the cookies. But yeah, that'll be on Friday. And and also if it turns out a complete failure, we we might just buy a a mix. <laughs> but I'm excited. I'm excited to make cookies. I think they're just gonna be standard chocolate chip. Um uh they're gonna have actually wait, they're gonna have like ma uh, marshmallows in it and um, espresso something in order to... Ali says that brings out the flavor of chocolate. I don't even know. I don't know anything. <laughs> Did I just barely hear a cooking stream? Cookie specifically? Yes, a cookie cooking stream on Friday. Yes. Wait, are we doing a cooking stream on the background? <laughs> on Friday, um... Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Hello, Aizen, by the way. Um, yeah, so we bought, we bought some supplies. I really hope, I really hope I can get my iPad situated in a way where uh, me and Allie can keep our privacy, you know, um, but that you guys can see us. We, we don't know anything about baking, really. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're probably decent at following the instructions, but, uh, we found a recipe online and we're just going to follow that. But worst case, worst case scenario, we'll go back to the store and buy a a a, a mix, a, a pre-made mix. <laughs> I don't know why we came back to the home island, but I'm not sure how to proceed. <laughs> this game does no hand holding at all. Oh no! I don't know what your message may have been, Soul Spell, but <laughs> oh, it was a bot. <laughs> all right. I realize that since I'm on mobile, I don't think I can see. Oh, I can see it. Ah, I see the message. Interesting. <laughs> Yikes. Good job, Faybot. <laughs> um, oh yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. I really I hope I can situate my iPad well enough. We'll have to do some test videos. <laughs> it's just like pro uh, open up the camera app and just prop up the iPad and see like is this a good position? <laughs> um okay, I don't I don't think we need to be back on the home home island. Don't think there's anything for us here. Or if you bail on it at least um post cookie pics, I will. I will. Um 
I think this this recipe we're gonna follow is supposed to make uh, 48 cookies. I don't know how, what how big they are, but yeah, four dozen. <laughs> and we're hoping, since we're gonna make this on Friday, we're hoping it's gonna be great to bring to Allie's family for Christmas. <laughs> Yeah, I will definitely post pictures if we can't stream it. I still plan on streaming on Friday. Um, if it's not going to be a cooking stream, I will. I will still stream. But okay, let's go, let's go back here. This is the only other place I can think of before googling how to make progress. <laughs> But oh my goodness. So we've got tomorrow, tomorrow busy all day. Sightseeing, sort of. And then Wednesday. Wednesday might be more sightseeing, but I will squeeze in a stream for the evening. We played RuneScape today. We had one day left of free membership, and we played RuneScape. Well, there's no reason to have membership for the holiday, but anyway, yeah, me and Allie played uh, the the Christmas event in RuneScape, old school. It was fun. It was cute. We got all the all the items unlocked. Protect the peace in Tickerel. I don't. I really don't know what that means. Tickerel. Oh boy, this game, this game could use a tiny bit of hand holding, just, just a smidge. I have no idea, <laughs> no idea where I'm supposed to go. I haven't really unlocked anything. I unlocked bombs. I wonder if there's places around here that I could explode stuff. There are a couple of chests I haven't opened according to the mini map. How could you suggest hand holding? <laughs> so lewd. Highly inappropriate. <laughs> There's a chest over there. But I have no idea how to get to it. Oh, <gasps> can I throw can I can I blow this up? Dang it! Oh. Hmm. It looked like there was a ramp coming down from this direction. There's also a boat over there. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait. <gasps> Let me jump down. It's in the safety of the water. Come on. How about here? Nope. <laughs> I have no idea. No idea how to get down there. I feel like I'm missing something. Probably just a skill. I probably just need to unlock a skill. Uh, there was another chest on the east. Right out there. There's a dungeon here that this has to be the exit for because I tried pushing that box to the left and it wouldn't budge. And somehow there's a chest out here. I put a bomb. <laughs> Dang it. And now I'm now I'm trapped here. So I have to uh, unless I kill myself and lose XP, I have to actually re respawn. Oh no, I started a new game. No. <laughs> here we go. Dang.
thing. Should I look this up? I'll try looking it up. Ocean horn, uh, bomb island. the heck? Oh wait, no, I recognize it. Oh, wait. Wait, no, we already did that. I just watched them use a bomb, but we already did that. And then... Follow the path around past the checkpoint, go towards the left side of the desert until you come across this area, drop into the water and swim through the gap in the wall. Push that one block forward a few spaces, stand on the other side and push it back to- Oh. Excuse me? That'll unlock something? Okay, we're going back. Bomb Island. No, wait, Witherlands? Oh, shoot. Well, I did look up Bomb Island, I guess. <laughs> Was that at Bomb Island? I actually don't know. Hold on. Yeah, Bomb Island. Oh. Don't worry, sir. I took care of the monster. We're supposed to be here. Find your first piece of- Oh, my first one! Okay, so we're not supposed to be at the Withered Lands. Not yet, anyway. Okay. side. We had to go through his house or his, uh, Retired bomb maker's house. Oh, it's just he makes bombs in his house. No big deal. guess we'll head this way. I don't quite know where it is, but I know what it is. <laughs> ah! Oh gosh, this place again. What's this way? <laughs> I've been this way? Yes, I have. <coughs> ah. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I decided to stop reacting. Oh shoot. 
<laughs> no. Dead end. What? I guess I go this way. Oh, I missed my chance. <laughs> yes, made it without taking damage. Okay, we'll go in here. I swear this n this is not this is not what it looked like. Pretty sure the image I was looking at was um, the Withered Lands, but. It was talking about Bomb Island. Let me double check. Oh my goodness, it is the Withered Lands. <laughs> no! That's okay, we got XP for traveling. Allie, are you napping? Oh no. She's gonna ruin her sleep schedule. Gracie, what you doing? <coughs> Wait a second. Oh, we've already read this. Running all the way back. Because we're supposed to be on. Oh! <coughs> we're supposed to be on the Withered Lands Island. Where'd Jensen? You know. <laughs> huh? I think Gracie was sleeping on the couch right here. I think Gracie was sleeping on the couch right here. I didn't notice <laughs> until uh, you, you made some noise and she leaps up like, "Where is that? Where? Where is he?" <laughs> Pretty sure I was stuck here <laughs> as a kid in the same the, in the same island. Basically, I should have never left this island. Apparently, this is how you continue, but it was it's a super secret hidden thing. I think I don't think it's obvious at all. So 
the release of the dire folk prisoner is still one of the challenges. I say still, but I didn't see a prisoner the first time or anything. Alright. I gotta walk all the way around. second. Okay, this box right here. Apparently I'm supposed to push it in between those two things and it'll drop down more boxes or something. Or, oh, I'm supposed to push it all the way here. I knew that spot was suspicious. Let's find out. I'm supposed to push this all the way. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay. I really should have seen that, but I did not. There we go. Checkpoint two. Oh my god, what is that thing? Hello? How is that? Do you do anything special, sir? It's kind of creepy. <laughs> All right. Well, good knowing you. I'm leaving now. We got that gate unlocked. Okay, where next? Let's see. I don't know why they become invincible like that. <laughs> hey, young one, yes? Are you trapped? Mmm.
that look on your face? Never seen an owl before? I'm grateful that you've saved me, but I must be going. Come see me on the other side of the desert. I'm at my hideout. Statues are the key to my place. My name is Rigger. And he rigs things to explode. He's the new bomb maker. Surely. <laughs> take that. Also, take this chair. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. A new adventurer level. You're a rookie adventurer. You gain the ability to carry up to 10 bombs at a time. Well, I'm so strong now. Stairs to the guard tower. Oh shoot. <gasps> oh, frick. <gasps> Jesus, no. Guard knock, stop drinking tar juice and take your band of goblins and come to the hideout. We're preparing to raid Tickerel. It is time for your gang to stop being useless. <laughs> God. Okay, okay. Um, we're fucked. We're fucked. Okay, we did a little dance. We got around him. I'm going on a raid and uh, I think the, the orcs and goblins are. Give me HP, please. Checkpoint, nice. We'll put a stop to the raid. And the seppeds. We gotta meet the owl, owlroo, Ow, owlroo, owl person. Um, where do these need to go? On the grassy bits? Yeah. I don't know. They seemed suspicious. <laughs> There we go. I guess he lives here. Hello? Oh, there's a rat. Hi, Gracie. She heard me find a rat. She ran over. I don't think Allie posted pictures yet of Gracie, but I'll get him to. I'll get him to remember to do that. <laughs> He's at the gym right now, so. Might not be tonight, but. You will have Gracie pics soon. Soon, TM. This is a nice little home. But where, <laughs> where is he? What the heck? He said to meet me here. 
of Rigor and Bold Wing. Text is too worn out to be read. Rest in peace, Boldwing. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, so so he lives alone. Unless that was like Boldwing Senior or something. Oh, there he is. Hello. Thank you for saving me from the Direfolk camp. I'm sorry I had to leave so fast. I would like you to have this. It is just a simple spell, but it has saved me from trouble many times. I am the last of my species. Holy shit, really? As the forests of Perta withered away, so did my people. Fifty years ago, I witnessed my brother dying in a battle far from our homeland, and I became the last. Thanks to you, I still have good years left. Are you telling me you are searching for the emblem of Earth? It is an Alru artifact. In the center of Great Forest was a shrine where the Orus traveled to purify and meditate. The emblem of Earth was the heart of that shrine, and its power flowed into my people and the forest. But when the darkness of the catastrophe hit, a man in a dark cape offered his help to the Orus. He bought a seed to the shrine, and the seed started to grow violently. Now Termus, a demon plant, has taken over the shrine. Hmm. The shrine is located on a nearby island that used to be a part of the Perta continent. Travel to Great Forest. Those lands belong to us Orus. The spirits of our ancestors rest there. Okay. New island revealed. This is the last tree standing in withered lands. As long as it stands, there is still hope. So he's the last remaining Auru species. Keep going. Dead end. Force spell summons an object to, sp to a spot you choose. It can be used to interact with things you cannot reach. Is that mana? I feel like I should have gone the other way. I don't know if I... Oh! I do have a spell. Hey, I installed this button so that you can use it with your spell. You don't need to worry about those dire folks using your shortcut. Perfect. Oh! That was unintentional. I will admit that. I'm gonna try going this way because there was a little. Okay, dead end. That's fine. <coughs> Ow! It's a trap. Yeah, that was it.
seemed like my sword was bouncing off his armor, but I think, I think it's just that I'm hitting the environment and not the monster. Weird. <gasps> Unopened chest. Please, please, can I have it? Can I? Can I have it? Maybe not. Dang it. Where does this go? Have I been here? Oh. Oh, right. Looks like there's a couple of chests here. Ow, okay, that's... That's what his danger is. Still, still can't make progress here, but that's fine. Although, I mean, I can try a bomb. Nah, okay. I could try this. So what did I achieve from that other place? I spoke to the owl root and he told me to go someplace. Okay, <laughs> I nearly forgot. Um. <gasps> Ow! I guess I head all the way back now. Back to our boat. Very sleepy. I hope I get enough rest tonight. <laughs> I, I don't remember the last time I woke up at 8 a.m., but that's what we have to do. And it's 8 a.m. Central Time, which is 6 a.m. Pacific. <laughs> so <laughs> not only can I not remember the last time I woke up at 8 a.m., but it's actually going to be more like... 6 a.m. for me and my body. <laughs> so that'll be fun. But we really want to get our our day going. Red sky at night, sailor's delight. What? But yeah, we want to get our day started as early as possible, so that um, because I think most places close around 4 p.m. just before sundown, because they're uh, outdoor and whatnot. You still want to see a green flash? What do you mean? The great okay. forest once expanded all over the Perta continent. And now only this small island remains. Deep within it lies the forest shrine, a sacred place of Orus. Wait, Orus? It's supposed to be Alrus. <laughs> it's a race, not a person's name. 8 a.m. 6 
Wait, 8 a.m. to maybe 6 a.m. is better. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, we're not. I mean, I'll have to probably be awake at 6 a.m. to be ready to leave by 8. Oh no. Which means that's like 4 a.m. really. <laughs> They're super rare, but at sunset on the ocean, it flashes green as the sun disappears? You mean... Wait, what? Oh. You grew up on the water, but you never saw one your dad had? Interesting. I never knew that. Uh, hmm. You're welcome, math with Yoshi is always upsetting. <laughs> I'm away, but I'm not gone. I must be brief with my words. There are dark forces who want to stop us. Watch out for the strange boat. Black hat. Oh, God. What does that mean? Too much information to handle. This forest is no longer safe. I'll protect you. Boy, you mean this little guy? Easy. I wonder if my dad seen that. He he pretty much grew up on the lake. My dad my dad took us boating very 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 often growing up when I was growing up. So I've been I've been boating on lakes often enough. I'm sure I've seen uh sunsets on the lake. I just don't I don't know if I don't know if I've seen a green flash on the water. Would it have to be the ocean? You should stream the zoo. Well, the thing is, Yoshi, there's probably no animals, so that's why it's free admission. The zoo is free admission because all of the animals are probably, yeah, not not out and about. <laughs> so we're pretty much just going to be walking around 30 degree weather uh, Fahrenheit <laughs> and like just, just looking at the places, maybe reading some signs to, <laughs> to learn, <laughs> learn about animals. <laughs> There probably won't be any. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. And also, I really don't think I could stream over cellular. <laughs> My data plan is not prepared for such a thing. But we'll, we will absolutely take pictures if there's anything worth seeing. We will be going to this place that um, is a huge garden place. So not not the zoo, but it's a it's a separate place. It's a huge garden. We will be going there and hopefully taking pictures. Let's see. Restless Grove up here. Um, maybe if it was a Great Lake, it has to be set into the water. Hmm. Dead? What happened? No, no, not dead. I just think uh, I think they don't stay out in 30, 30, 35 degree weather. That's like that's like three Celsius. I don't think. I don't think it's uh, comfortable for the animals to just hang outside just for the, you know, the pleasure of humans to see them. I'm not a, <laughs> I'm not actually a, a fan of zoos in general, but yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think they subject animals to that. That's why the, that's why the zoo is a free admission for the winter. <laughs> Probably. There might be a couple of animals that are like that very easily handle the cold but we'll see no hopes don't get your hopes up <laughs> we're, we're probably going to stay there for an hour before moving on to the garden seeing what kind of plants are also also like you know it's similar to like plants right plants probably aren't beautiful and blooming in winter <laughs> we're gonna see what we can in winter you're on the path to Forest Shrine, a place blessed by the sacred emblem of Earth. You need a key. Oh my god, what is that? What is this? Oh god! <laughs> Weird bug plant thing that sprouted out of the ground. Let's try going this way. Oh yeah, and we're gonna go to an art museum. That sounds fun. I was supposed to take Allie to the art museums in San Francisco when he came to California. 
around October. Um, but we, we didn't get time to do that. Uh, we only went to the, we went, we only went to Pier 39. I think that's the number. <laughs> 29, 39. And that's all we had time for. We spent the whole day at Pier 39 and uh, we didn't really get to sightsee. There is so much to see in San Francisco. <laughs> you have to spend like three days there just to see everything. You have to see the, the piers with the sea lions and stuff, and then you have to spend another day just, just admiring the crazy architecture. And then you have to spend another day uh, going to all the amazing, incredible art museums that they have. And maybe even shopping. Spend the whole day shopping, too. <laughs> but we didn't get to do that. We only had one day in San Francisco. Uh, I think... I think that was a dead end. I don't think I missed anything today. But yeah, I'm excited to see the art museum here in Illinois. Probably not as cool as San Francisco, but you know, they're trying. <laughs> Um, wait, it says this chest is already opened. That's interesting. Okay, we've been here. To the Restless Grove. Let's try this again. <laughs> Go this way this time. First thing. Um, that's not a way up. <gasps> ah, I can never tell where that guy is. Oh yeah, I should consider bombs too. Because it's possible some areas just need a bomb. We opened the chest. I don't really remember what was in the chest, but I don't think it was anything incredible. Hmm. Bombs. Uh, okay. There's nothing here, right? So now let's go left. Which we've already done, I just gonna try again. Pay a little more attention this time. Even when I spam, I can't hit that. Do I have a key now? Oh, I- oh my- oh right! That's what was in the chest! <laughs> so there was a key in the chest! Okay. Okay. I don't know why I made that noise, but... It made me feel accomplished. Interesting. There's a hole in the ground that I can fall into. Very interesting. Oh, <laughs> I just straight up destroyed the bridge. Okay. I don't really want to go down there just yet, actually. Let's figure this out. Da -da -da -da. Oh shit, I did it wrong. <laughs> -da -da -da. I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, again, okay. Yay. Okay, so this way is blocked for now. That's a checkpoint. 
This is a box. This is a plant. And this looks suspicious. Suspicious lever. Ah. That's our way down. And there's nothing up there. Okay. I'm gonna go through this um, entry instead of falling down the hole. We'll try that later. And he's teaching us shapes and plants. <laughs> yes. Welcome to my learning stream. Today we're gonna learn how to button mash and about the different shapes. There are hearts, circles, rats and bats, these like diamond coins, and even sharper diamond XP. This is a lever. I don't know how to describe what a lever looks like, but you'll know it when you see it. You'll feel inclined to gripping it and pulling it the opposite direction that it's facing currently. A <laughs> pulley thingy. <laughs> dangerous. Those spikes, see those spikes in the ground? When the pointy side is upward facing, that means danger. And when you see cylindrical or cube shaped holes in the ground, it probably means don't step on it. Otherwise danger. Oh, and that's what a bomb looks like. <laughs> They're fun. Bombs are f fun. Indeed. I'm a puzzle master. Where are we now? Ow! Okay, I should have seen that coming. Oh god! Oh, I almost killed myself. Okay. Bums can also look like a ball without a rope at the end. <laughs> without? <laughs> what do you mean? Are you implying something with that dance emote? <laughs> oh, These shit. are sacred grounds. Trespassers will be punished. Oh god. Die! <gasps> no! Stay the fuck away! No! Stop it! Hell yeah! She could fly. Wait, she, wait, she's an owl, owl room. Uh, hello? <laughs> okay. She's an owl room, so that guy isn't the last one. <gasps> the last people, the last owl rooms are male and female. They might not have to be the last ones anymore. <laughs> if that's how the owl room species works. Maybe they, maybe they can just uh, clone themselves. Who knows? Then maybe saying I'm the last hour alive isn't a big deal at all. It just means you uh, haven't gotten around to splitting yourself. Clone.
pony. I don't know why I'm climbing here, but it, it's working. Clever. <laughs> okay. Let's take this with us. This game gives you weird dragon quest vibes. <laughs> if you can hit the bomb, it's gonna be boom like this. <laughs> it's Zelda. Uh, welcome. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I'm not, I'm not super familiar with what dragon quest is, but I can definitely. I haven't even played Zelda before, and I can see the resemblance of this in Zelda, <laughs> the earlier Zeldas. It's been so cold here, so our um, heater turns on, right? And yesterday, yesterday I got a nosebleed, and that was the first time I'd had a nosebleed in quite a long time. It was very unfortunate. It's so hard to enjoy things with, you know, when you only have one hand because you're trying to hold the tissue to the uh, to your nose. It's like it's so hard to function. Oh God, what is that? What is it? Ah, I fell. Ooh, I need to break his mask. But anyway, I mentioned it because I can f sort of feel like I sort of feel like I might get another nosebleed right now. <laughs> my my breathing feels exceptionally dry. <laughs> Unfortunate. Welcome to the forest shrine path to the hall of emblem ahead. Those are a couple of weird words. The hall of emblem. Need more water? Yeah, that's true. The Zelda part was pretty obvious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I used to need a humidifier. I started getting nosebleeds for the first time ever in high school, which I think was the combination of stress and just the cold weather. But I would get it almost daily, uh, senior year of high school. And I wasn't even one to care much about school. I literally, literally barely passed school, didn't care too much for any of it. But um, yeah, for some reason, stress just gave me nosebleeds and all that. And I had never experienced nosebleeds before, before high school, <laughs> so it was odd. Um, and then, and then I got a humidifier, and that really, really fixed everything wrong, <laughs> making making the air a little bit more moist. I know Yoshi doesn't like that word. <laughs> a little more hydrated the air. Oh shit! I don't have anything to throw at him. I don't think I should be down here because my character can't really swim. Can I throw the chest at him? Okay, we got a key. Let's remember this time that I have a key. So that I don't run around aimlessly. Drink water with pH? Mm -hmm. Did I read this? We're looking for a door. <gasps> Ow! With a key. And I see it. It's right there. <laughs> what does this say? In a green chest is a, spe a special key lies. It opens the door you cannot reach. And an incredible power it yields. Well, I'll be sure to loot the green chest when I come across it. I guess. It's not like I'd pass up looting a chest. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I was, uh, I was gonna say, don't. Is there. Do these spikes go down at all? That was scary. I don't know why I just super easily walked across this without thinking. <laughs> this doesn't look scary at all. Get back here. Package. Thank you, Zoraika. I 
sip more water. Who invented um, that word? Needs a time out with my buddy Satan. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder if, I don't know, I wonder if there's similar words in other languages that are just like, no, <laughs> gross. <laughs> Wait, maybe we can swim. I just know we can't swim in the ocean. That's when our stamina depletes and then we die. All right, uh, where are we going now? Here? Aha! More water! Oh, just kidding. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Leave me alone, bat. Regular key. <gasps> Be gone. Leave me alone, Zubat. Wait. Should I just swim all the way back? I'm gonna try. Yeah, I could actually just swim up those steps, I think. Uh huh. Forest, shrine, tunnels. I can't believe we have a quest to spend 2,000 gold in a town. And we only have like, what was that, 300 something? Oh, oh, is this our first boss? Oh shit. Oh God. Yes, hello. Oh! Oh, wait till he spirals up because I can't seem to hit him. Otherwise. So creepy. How are we even in the ground like this? This is so silly. We're just dancing. Beat the whole game without swinging your sword once. Achievement unlocked. No. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> but we are defeating this boss with no sword. You got a regular key. Boom. <laughs> hey, more bombs.
need a master key to open this. Excuse me. Excuse me. We have to find the green chest and a master key. Oh wait, the wait, <laughs> the green chest is the master key. We have to find the yeah, the master key. Surprise the boss didn't drop it. But whatever. Hey. I don't know what these crystals, the red ones, do, but we're collecting them. And I guess we head down here now. Can't forget, we have a spell that can drop an object anywhere we choose. So that's for activating triggers that are out of reach. gonna visit your buddy Satan? Do you have anything to say to Satan? <coughs> he, um, I'm not sure if I need to re redo that command. I am on mobile, but that command is actually still running on my PC at home. But I think it might have needed like a, a page refresh or something. So I'll time you out myself. It's okay. <laughs> Looks like the auto bot isn't working. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> it did work. It just was uh, delayed, I guess. Look at that. Enjoy your visit with Satan. <laughs> I'll say to Satan, uh, would you like some cookies Friday? On Christmas Eve. That's what I would like to ask Satan, if you don't mind, Yoshi. <laughs> if you can even hear me right now, whoa. The switch to the lower water level right behind you. Okay. <coughs> May I pick this up? Pick this. Boop. Uh oh. <laughs> Ow! It's sad how easy it is to just throw a ball. Well, a little sad. This game is pretty tough without that. Okay, how do I... Oh shoot, how do I go back? Oh, right. The I don't know why I didn't see that. Okay. <laughs> he respawned. 
And then I drop here. Oh, shoot. <gasps> I need to pee on myself. Okay. There we go. Deeper into the temple. Please be a master key. <gasps> Found a master key. Use it to open the green chest. I guess we'll make progress going forward. Yeah, perfect. Oh, perfect. Oh, <gasps> you found the bow and arrows. The bow is the long lost weapon of the Aurus. Use it wisely. Wow. I mean, use it like this. Nice. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. That looked that looked like I could move it maybe. Okay. Now that we're up here, I know where we are, we're just up higher. What is there to explore? This looks like the, the next place to move on. Did I explore everything yet? Oh shit, I forgot. Okay, we're going. Never mind. And I, I feel like I remember that bridge, which is weird. We'll, we'll go there some other time. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I know where we are. Maybe I <laughs> maybe I'll just head back. I kinda wanna try crossing the bridge. Wait, do I know where we are? Yes I do. think I could fall off, but I still try. <laughs> okay. Where am I now? And up. Ooh, what's this? Looks special. Soul above, NATO below. Emblem of Earth in the central hall. Okay. Um, I don't really, huh. Oh, should I use a bomb? Oh, <gasps> I knew it looked disheveled and stuff. Let's go down here. This is the real boss. Oh, okay. Oh, I died, okay. Ow. 
camera angles I can't control. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, he's sucking me in. Oh god, he moves faster now. <gasps> Dang. Ew, what is this thing? I must have hurt myself. Get off of me! We did it! The tumor? <laughs> oh no. Nasty. Go back to the earth. Plant. Monster. What did she do? Champion, I am Nato, the goddess of fire and earth, the source of joy and regeneration. Evil spirit Mesmeroth tricked me into these dark shackles. But now I'm free to start the reconstruction of the world. Wherever you go, I'll travel by your side. You freed the great forest shrine. I can finally return here to sing a long song to my ancestors. The least I can do, as last of my kind, is to show respect to my roots. You're not the last. Maybe you would allow us to join you. <laughs> Look at that, he's not the last. We will settle here and start a new page in the history of Aurus. Here, take this. It is an acorn of the last tree in the withered lands. Plant it in the place that is close to your heart. <gasps> We lifted the curse. You are now an adventurer. You can now carry up to 15 arrows at a time. Excuse me, pardon me. Hello. You are a talented swordsman. It is good to have you on our side. That's the one we fought earlier. There is still hope for us Alrus. Yeah, good job. You're not the last of your kind anymore. That is, if you are capable of reproducing. Alright. I'm away, but I'm not gone. I must be brief with- oh, right. Oh, shit. <laughs> he pushed me. So I think we're supposed to head back to our- Oh, it is me. Hi, it's me, Hermit. You really found the emblem of Earth. Come see me when you have time. I need to- I need you to pick something for me. Pick up something for me. Gosh, I can't read. New history, aka make a fuck ton of babies. <laughs> oh no. 
Oh, easy peasy. They're, they are birds, right? You just have to lay, lay some eggs. No big deal. <laughs> Let's see what our hermit friend has to say. Take down the enemy ship. I'm gonna have a good time. <laughs> no, you're not. Die. Go straight through them. There we go. Have I played Assassin's Creed Black Flag? Um think so or I stopped at the Assassin's Creed just before Black Flag but I heard a lot about it I know I know there's like pirate ships and I, I've heard it's awesome <laughs> really cool ship battles yeah yeah I can't remember if I actually did play it because I have bits and pieces of the of the story in my memory <laughs> but I don't know how to correlate them to anything <laughs> I'd love to play through them to continue the playthrough I should say I don't know that I want to start from the beginning because it, you know, it's whatever But and there are so many to catch up on but yeah I might just, even if I did play through Black Flag, I might I know that I stopped there and that I would if I did pick up Assassin's Creed again, I will start there, I will start at Black Flag <laughs> but I love the anim uh, Animal Crossing oh my god, why did I say that? I love the AC Assassin's Creed series. <laughs> and you're pro at Sea of Thieves ship battles? <laughs> no! Black Flag is 100% your favorite Assassin's Creed. Uh, you also got a climbing bed, so pr you're gonna press the button before you like, alright. <laughs> Enjoy your time with Satan. Uh, maybe, maybe if Yoshi has or has not already offered Satan cookies, I'm not sure. But, Noose, if you would like to offer Satan some cookies that I'm going to make on Friday, that would be great. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> yeah, fight him! Fight him, defeat him, and then say, you want some cookies? <laughs> Assassin's Creed story is whatever. They had something, they had something, but it fuck, fucked it up, but so okay. You kind of play every game as its own thing. Yeah, I understand that. Um, I was told, like, before getting into Assassin's Creed, I was told by someone that it didn't matter that none of the games were connected whatsoever. <laughs> and this was, this was someone that I, I very much trusted their word on, but <laughs> come to find out that it's entirely, entirely incorrect, at least in the beginning, like you were saying, they eventually fucked it up. But in the beginning, uh, <laughs> there was very much an attachment. Like there was that, um, I don't fucking remember his name, but there was that character and he kept getting in the animus, right? And that, that was... I believe it was the same character for the first two Assassin's Creed, so, you know, there already is a, a story, and I'm ba basically, I'm very glad that I didn't listen to this person <laughs> who's saying that there is no attachment, or there's total disjointment between the different Assassin's Creed, and you can start wherever. I'm very glad I didn't listen to that person, because there very much was an overarching story that you can follow from one, two, three, <laughs> at least, at least up to the third, right, because... I haven't, I haven't, I don't think I played, and I think Black Flag is the fourth, right? So I don't think I played past the third. The games are connected in many ways, even the movie. Yes, I saw the movie! I saw the movie. I really enjoyed that. You always hate when franchise starts dividing the story in multiple forms of media, right? They can kind of reboot of the story after syndicate. Ah. And I, I actually might be wrong. I might not have stopped at three. I really don't remember the numbering. It's been so long. I, pl I last played... Maybe like four years, four years ago? Yeah, probably four years ago. I, I, I don't know, I just don't remember anything. I need you to jump down this well. Inside it, you will find horrors that sometimes keep me up at night, but it will be worth it. Bring me a package that belonged to my friend Teppo, the ar archeologist. Inside that package, there is something that can help us. <laughs> okay, sir. The well is too high for you to just climb in there. Well, well what do I do then? Do I blow it up? We're blowing it up. Okay. 
I think there's another, there's another well somewhere. <laughs> um, also, Syndicate is the worst Assassin's Creed game. You really tried to like it. What number is that? I don't know if I can make any remembrance of the name or anything like that, but I am curious. Because if that was the earlier numbers, that means I played it. Ugh, get out of the way. Get out of the way. No, I didn't mean to go in here. That's okay. You really, really tried to like it, yeah. And I, I absolutely, I won't be skipping any. <laughs> I won't be skipping any uh, Assassin's Creed. I'll just, I'll just bear in mind that some are sucky. <laughs> But I, I don't hope, I hope not to skip any. Oh, I just realized. <gasps> Our first heart piece. Collect four of these to increase your maximum health by one. Really? So the first one does nothing. Okay. <laughs> the first heart, heart piece does nothing. And I have to collect three more before I can get another each piece. Um, it comes after Black Flag. Oh, okay. It's the go old. British? Good old British. <laughs> I definitely enjoyed playing Ezio. I loved all of all of his Italian sayings. <laughs> I surprised myself being familiar with some of the words he was saying. Um, from the little bit of Italian I hear my mom speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of cursing though. <laughs> I really want to play them again. I want to play so many games all over again. I have to get around to playing Hitman again. <sighs> I can't remember where this well is, but I hope we find it soon. I think it might be bedtime soon, earlier than normal, because I'm in a different time zone and we have to be up extremely early. <laughs> but Allie's not back from the gym yet, so I might as well keep playing. I swear there's another well here. and out of here, hopefully. Assassin's Creed 1, Altair's Chronicles, Bloodlines, AC2, AC3, or sorry, AC2, AC2 Discovery Brotherhood, Revelations, oh, wow. God damn, they should really calm down. Yeah. Hmm. You know what? I'm recognizing, well... Yeah, I think I definitely played AC3. I don't know if I played AC Liberation. Is that one of the is that one of the ones where the main character was like completely different? Like it was a not a spin-off, but I know there was um uh there was a female character pretty early and I wonder if she's the AC3 Liberation one where it was a female <coughs> I haven't played it, but I, th I think I bought it. And I know it's not the best, but I did buy it anyway. I will be playing it. <laughs> it's a spin-off of three. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm, gl I'm glad I remembered that. <laughs> so I did not play that one, but I played AC3. And I don't think I 100%ed it. This was... I played the... Uh, my God, I was about to say Animal Crossing again. I played the Assassin's Creed games around the time that I was still trying to 100% my Steam achievements. So I remember not completing AC3. Like, I was not done with it, but I was burnt out of it. <laughs> I was I was mentally done with it, but not literally done with it. <laughs> Heavy Prince of Persia vibes? Ooh, the Chronicle games are dope. Oh, okay. Um, you mentioned that one, that Altair's Chronicles. Interesting. Okay, I don't know what the hell to do with this well. Well, well, well. What do I do with the well? Um, I really thought there was another well. 
Jump down this well, inside you'll find horrors. You also plant, have to plant the acorn tree. The well is too high for you to just j climb in there. How do I do that? I don't get it. Um, I guess I have to be on this upper platform, right? Can I just drop in from that grassy platform? Maybe? I also have an acorns plant. Shoot. <laughs> there's so many, <laughs> since I'm away from my computer, there's so many games I want to be playing. I, of course, want to just constantly play Phasmophobia. Just have a little bit of Phasmophobia fun. Um, this is a new area. Here lies Teppo, the archaeologist. Oh, that's sad. Um, but I'm, like, itching to play some Sims just because. Just to relax on some Sims. Uh, oh. But, yeah, all of the, all of the games I want to play when I get back home. I created a, um, there's a site called Rank One, and they, they kind of help you keep track of your games, <coughs> the games that you've played, the games that you want to play, that sort of thing. Um, maybe even, you could even build a wish list of games, and I have, I have games built up. Actually, it's an extension on my, on my profile, underneath my Twitch, uh, about or home or whatever it might be called. I have an extension plugin down there called Rank One, and I uh, on there I made a list of uh, backlogged games that I hope to be playing soon. There's some cute ones like Slime Rancher, Rough Explorer Crystal, and then there is like Hitman and stuff. And I really want to get around to it. Oh shoot, I did this wrong. Okay, at least I know there's a new way up that I haven't seen before. Altair's Chronicles is a prequel of Act 1. Rogue happens before AC3, and Black Flags happens after Rogue. Or before Rogue. Oh. Oh, like chronologically? I wonder, because I, I remember looking up uh, all of the details I needed to know about the... I was about to say Animal Crossing. Assassin's Creed games. I looked up the details of, like... Uh... You know, not only the order of release, but even the chronological order of, like, how the story is told. And I found this list. I, I don't know if I made a note of it and <laughs> saved it, basically. But I do, I do remember seeing a list, and I was like, alright, I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna follow Assassin's Creed in chronological order. Did I do this wrong? Is there no way across here? I don't think there's a way across here. I have to be there. <laughs> so I started playing in in what would be told in the right like era order chronologically from the from the history stories they're telling. <laughs> so I think I followed it like that and not not just release date order, you know. The origins thin origin happens before Anything else and it gets really dumb. Oh no. Oh wait, wait. Oh no, I see it, I see it. Gosh, why can't I figure this out? <laughs> Let's see. Let's try again. I mean maybe we're not even supposed to drop down from above. I'm just I'm just guessing. I have to be over there. Oh, you can! Oh my gosh, I'm silly. Okay, okay. I see it now. <laughs> I see it now. I know how to drop down. You feel like um, they milked Ezio too much? Did Do you? Um, I know it's people's favorites. They, they I, I hear it all the time. Oh, Ezio, he's great. 
Okay, I have to go down this way. There we go. Okay, there we go. I did it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Why did that take me so long? Great conicalers range. Oops, shit. Okay, okay, that's fine. I don't know why there's stairs leading out of here, but it's fine. I just meant to grab this. Um, Re Revelations was a good ending, but Ezio's story, holy heck. <laughs> I was correct. A great chronicler was buried on this desert island. I came here together with my friend. We built a base of operations here, or out there on a rock. He will keep track of the progress, and I will start studying this grave. The great chronicler, scholar of the past and the future, rests here. This grave is blessed by almighty Gaia and Kronos. The beginning and the end. The room of answers gives you the knowledge that you need. I remember, um, really liking... So the last... The last animal... Or God, what? Why am I seeing Animal Crossing? Why? Oh, I'm actually in pain. I'm in pain that I'm saying Animal Crossing. I'm thinking about the words AC... And then I'm saying Animal Crossing instead of Assassin's Creed. Okay. Okay. I'm thinking about the last Assassin's Creed I played. <laughs> and I'm remembering the one... It, it started with a young Native American boy. I think it was Native American. Yeah, a Native American boy. Um, and that's who you started playing as. And then, and then he grows up and you mostly play the game as that guy. And you find out, you know, huge plot twist or whatever. You find out who his father really is. And it's like, holy shit. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> but it was cool. It was cool. And I think, I think that's why I last played. And I don't, I don't actually know if that's Assassin's Creed 3 or not. A noise kept me up for the night. I'm a little nervous, but knowing the kinds of clues to Arcadia's history that may be found inside, I have to face my fears and enter. Um, you think Freedom Cry is the only game you actually play as a black dude? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, wasn't wasn't the Liberations female black as well? Um, I, I don't, I don't know because I haven't played it yet. But then I, yeah, I actually, I, I also remember, I remember there was another sort of spin-off. I don't really know what you would call them, but they're, they're a slightly smaller game and slightly less loved. Um, and I remember, I remember that was... Uh, a black guy or something something like that um but yeah i loved i lo i really liked playing the uh native american boy i thought it was really cool to to see our assassin start off as a young kid and i don't know it was just it was i loved it <laughs> it seems and and you and in that game you did get to get onto a ship like you got to interact with ships. That was cool. <laughs> a little a little taste of Black Flag, right? <laughs> the tiniest tiniest little taste of it. It seems the Arcadian technology took a giant leap forward during the Dire Folk Dire Folk Wars. They combined their knowledge of technology and magic and built three gigantic machines to protect Arcadia. These technological marvels were known as living fortresses. Boo. We got a key. Also, what is this? Can I put a bomb here? I'm gonna try. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. Oh, okay. Can't blow that up. I don't know why it's there. <laughs> Aveline is French, but looks black for reasons. Well, I mean, I mean, black people can be French. <laughs> I don't think it matters skin tone, right? If you're born in France, you're French. We need something to advertise this game. <laughs> I, I mean, that would I wouldn't put it past this sort of company to just to just make a character black just for the purpose of being like, ah, we need to we need to include everyone. Uh -huh. So let's do this. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past them for uh, what's that called, cop out or whatever. When you when you just do it just because <laughs> just because it's lacking <laughs> oh no no it's just a bot <laughs> thank you Faybot. i appreciate you Faybot. 
We're getting rid of the other bots. Other bots are stinky, but Fae bot's cool. <laughs> Fae bot's the only bot we want around, huh? A black woman is a main character? How the fuck does that make any sense? It doesn't, oh. You found a heart piece. Collect four of these to increase the maximum of it. Sounds wrong like that, yeah, but how, um, how does it make sense if the character is French with white relatives? Oh, I, yeah, I, I don't know, because I never played that game. <laughs> I guess if they have white relatives, then, yeah, perhaps it doesn't make sense. I mean, it could just be adoption reasons, right? Just adoption. Hello, McDarmo! <laughs> and Serenity, hello! <laughs> doesn't make sense story-wise. Yeah, yeah. Unless, unless it was just plainly stated, like, you know, adoption. <laughs> Do not lean on the statue. Oh, yeah. I leaned. I leaned on the sta <laughs> statue. <laughs> I smell amazing. Oh, yes. Uh, I smell like pineapples on pizza. Nice. Serenity thinks about hugging Enya, but misses the opportunity. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Serenity. How are you? You trying again? Oh. Wait, wait. <laughs> it says you join the embrace. That's supposed to just be a random name, but it shows you also. So you hu you hugged me double just then. Not hating on Aveline though. Aveline is a great character, but the story wasn't well written. Oh yeah, that's what I hear. That's what the Steam reviews are saying. I think. I think the Steam reviews are just saying like, come on, <laughs> just give this story a little bit more love, and this would have been great. Um, McDarmo is trying to phone Serenity. Uh, Zarika answers sternly, and McDarmo panics and hangs up. <laughs> Says, hey, hey, Zarika. <laughs> Serenity wants to hug McDarmo, but dope smoke. Oh, that was the bot. <laughs> the dope smokes guy was the bot that just got banned. <laughs> Dialed the wrong Discord. Uh. Cannot believe this. I found designs signed by Archimedes himself. They are complicated drawings of machines. I will keep them in a safe place. The key is between the burning fire bowls. Burning fire bowls. Can I push these guys? Push. I'm leaning. I'm leaning. <laughs> wait, why is that chest opened? Oh, wait. Because, <laughs> because he took it out or something. Whoever this guy is, he stole him. Let's go this way. Room of Answers. Thorn the Brave battled against Sea Lork at Riptide Reef. God, all these names. He wielded a legendary sword that the Guildfolk had forged in the deepest trench of the ocean. Coral Saber. The shield of Kronos, one of the creations of the great Arcadian inventor, Archimedes, is hidden on Sky Island. Lovely. <laughs> um, phone Enya Fairy? <laughs> Enya Fairy's phone rings and McDarmo answers it. <gasps> Gasp! McDarmo stole my phone! What the heck? <laughs> Wait, but it's right here in front of me. That's how I'm reading chat. <laughs> Oh, I think there's a one or two minute cooldown for phoning people. I can't remember. I think it's only one, but... <laughs> you have fun games on your phone? <laughs> got any Got any games on your phone? Haha, <laughs> I'm smart. Put a giant skull on the pressure plate. Let's see if I can beat this puzzle soon. Uh-oh. <laughs> Took out all of them. Oh, shit. Oh, I can't get my health now. I don't know what the point of that is. Huh. How the heck? Oh, do I just... Mm, can I throw something on there? Let's try. Stand on this side, and then throw it. 
Oh, what? That was such a perfect throw and it didn't do anything. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, we're running. Running, running, running. Nice. I guess there was enough time. Oh, this looks suspicious. <laughs> okay. Oh my. That's, that's dangerous. Is it gonna end soon? Okay, okay, here we go. Oh god, okay. <laughs> Got any games on your phone? I think that was my notification on uh, Friday when I streamed on Friday because it was my first mobile stream. <laughs> These guys are tough. Oh god, they're hitting each other. I think they're blind. I hate when random children just come too close to drooling and sniffling and wanting to touch your stuff. Oh my goodness. <laughs> touch the fire. When you were living with your mom, you bought all of your own shit, like PC, PlayStation, and when her friend's children were visiting, they always insisted that they... Oh, I hate that. They let the kids play. Yeah, I hate that. That is not fair whatsoever. That's not how that works. Ooh, that pisses me off. <laughs> Dang it, we need a key. Was always really ang yeah. Oh my gosh. Sorry if you're hearing loud noises. Um, or am I forgetting something? Oh, should I put a bomb here? Yay! It did mention something about being a special key between two. Braziers. You ever let them though? You started to hide all your expensive stuff. Just said, um, no can do. They need to cool down. <laughs> yeah, I would have done the same. I can't. I can't stand that. I had. A, I grew up with a little brother too, so yeah. Just I hated the notion of having to share with him and his grubby hands. <laughs> um, and as unfair as it was, like my parents, for example, my parents would be like, all right. You can't have you can't have a cell phone until you're 12 or something. Like you have to be 12 to have a cell phone. Like all right, fine, fine, I'll wait. <laughs> and so I finally get a cell phone, and then my brother's birthday is just like two months after, and he's like, wait, 12. He's like uh, nine, eight, eight turning nine. Uh, <laughs> and then he gets a cell phone just the two months later. But at least, at least it means that I didn't have to share with him. Even though I had to wait till I was 12 and he got he got to have a phone at nine years old. <laughs> at least it meant I didn't have to share with him. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Fantastic, how are you? How was your weekend? Uh, Mom said it's your turn on the Xbox. <laughs> how to know who's the favorite child. Triloth, this fearful matter is a powerful is powerful enough to move mountains and create water and fire from nothing. Triloth is the essence of creation and a mystery beyond more mere human comprehension. Ooh. Okay, I can't squeeze back there to get those vases and it's bothering me. <laughs> This looks special. Here lies the great chronicler, the man who enslaved time itself, but could not escape his mortality. <laughs> Here lies Rodgar the Curious, the boy who became the, the great chronicler. Hmm? What did we get? The lost store cube of Archimedes? Who knows what it contained? <gasps> that was it. You found Teppo's package. He told me about this on his deathbed, but I could not believe it existed. I need to study these documents now. This will help us, but you must be on your way now. Search for the emblem of ocean. All right. Well, that's a decent stopping point. 